start momentarily. Please stand by. The live broadcast will start momentarily. Please stand by. The live broadcast will start momentarily. Please stand by. Broadcasting live from beautiful Portage Lakes, Ohio, it's the PLX Live with Rob and Joel. Tonight on the show, Dan and Joel Shin from Lay's Guitar Shop with musical guests Matt Sweeney and Wes McCraw. And now, here they are, Rob and Joel! Oh, you can keep, you can, you can keep clapping, it's okay. Yes, yes, yes! we got a full house tonight, Joel. It's a 12-er. It's, it's a 12-pack. 12 12-pack. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's, we got 1,200 guests mm -hmm. in the audience. It's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a, we, we had to turn some capacity. away. We had yeah. to turn some away. Good thing yes. we put in that stadium seating. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'd run it over you to see the who. Yes. So, <laughs> it's another Wednesday at the uh, PLX Live. The PLX Live, yeah. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the show. Uh, if you we don't, enjoy bringing it to you. Yeah. If you don't know, um, this is Rob. Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, Rob. This is Joel. Hello, I'm Joel. So, and this is what we do. Hello. And also, as always, we have our producers, and we have a oh. full compliment tonight oh. of our the game's yeah, full. All here. Yes. Right. Yes, we Come have on. Dan the Man, the Sound Man. Oh. Yay. Yes. Yes. Oh. Hey. Could not do what we do without Dan, without a doubt. You could. Yes, we could, but that, no. Dan, just let it go. <laughs> Dan's, Dan's Take fine. the compliment, Dan. Are those speakers on? Are those ones on for the silly sounds? They are. Okay. Okay, sweet. Fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they're working good. <laughs> All right, Dan's on Sorry. on the silly sounds. Ham sandwich. Right. Ham sandwich. <laughs> and we have uh, Jen, Yoga Yay! Jen in the house. Yay! Yes. And Yeehaw! Jeff and Jessica. Thank Yay! you. Thank you. Plus yes, one. that's right. Plus <laughs> one. Yeah. yeah. And let's quickly say hi to Will Johnson, who's watching from Kansas City. Well, hello, wow. Will. KC. How's them wow. ribs he out says, there? He says Virgil Lay was his grandfather. Oh, oh nice. Very nice. 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 cool. Rock and roll. He was a prolific bearer. So we're excited to have him as a uh, viewer tonight. Hi. 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 Our one viewer. Hi. Yes. No. Hi. All right. <laughs> Moving on from there. Both of them are watching. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Uh, so, uh, it was a good week. Halloween. We just had Halloween. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was fun. It went. It was a long, a lot of trick-or-treating and yep. a lot of, it was a lot of fun. A it, lot of, it looked that you, way. I did not trick-or-treat. Did you go to any costume parties? Sadly, I did not. I apologize to all, all the bars. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't make the one. So, yeah. no, but I just dressed up last night. You did. So did Jessica. Just to sit like, at home. Just, just to sit at home. That's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah. Goofy that way. We just you know? dressed up for fun. I, what did you dress actually... up as? Um, Himself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, what'd you do? You I dressed, dressed up. And what'd just... you do? I dressed up like Joel. No, I just up like uh, Walter White. Oh, yeah. and then just yeah. set her up. That's why I got this little shave up That's going. Rob. Walter White is Rob's go to. That's it yeah. is. It's easy, you know. It's I'm a sorry. hat. Go to. <laughs> yeah. Hat and you know. go to. He's off and running. All right. Mm -hmm. I do not make meth. I'm just clear the air right now. It's Thank a goodness, whole right. different thing. Oh, hey. Speaking yeah. of yesterday, Halloween, and we have to wish uh, somebody on the show a happy yes. belated oh, birthday. Oh, yes, belated birthday to. Jeff. Yeah. Mr. Jeff over here. Happy and birthday. and his brother Todd. Oh yeah. yeah. Twinsies. Jeff. Finally hit oh. 28. Nice. Yeah. I'm doing good. Did you know Again. you share a birthday with John Candy? There yeah. you go. A little bit of knowledge yeah. for you. Vanilla ice. <laughs> really? And vanilla ice? True story. Well, True story. Sounds like you should do probably one of his tunes this Saturday. That's, that's <laughs> he only they, has one. Yeah, that's how they hooked up to go on tour. Yeah. You know? You two did? Huh? Jeff and Vanilla? Yeah. 
Yeah, he was. He was a bit. Vanilla. I mean, I, he yeah. is vanilla. <laughs> all right. All right. So, <laughs> what do we got going on? I just on? love it. I just love <laughs> Ah, tonight, it's a... F- it's a house full of guitars in here. It is. Tell you that. Holy yes. mackerel. A lot, a lot of guitars. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. looking yeah. guitars. Yes. It's a, <laughs> no, there's three That's girls here. No, no, no. Three <laughs> girls. Thanks for breaking it up, girls. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined our party. So much oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. We have a unique show um, uh, for the first time on the show. Um, uh, Dan and Joel Shin of Lay's Guitars. Yeah. 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 Kenmore Boulevard. Hello. They're here. And welcome, guys. We really appreciate you taking the time and coming in and being a part of the show. And Definitely. they brought a ton of guitars. Yes. So it's kind of cool because they're gonna they're gonna feature and talk about all these guitars. And then we have three uh, different guitar players here. Not in a band together. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. This might be. This a, could be something a groundbreaking <laughs> thing that we're it's gonna, you know, new. unite. Yeah. <laughs> we actually have a lot of guitar players here. Just three that are playing. True. Tonight. Right. Yeah. yeah good point. Right. But we uh, we have um, Matt Shannon, Matt Sweeney, and Wes McCrawl here. So they're gonna perform yeah. individually. <laughs> three awesome players. So you're gonna dig it. Gonna be cool. Very cool. Yes. Looking forward to it. So uh, there are business guests and our music yeah. guests. It's all about Lay's guitars. It's a Lay's. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Could you hand us that real quick? <laughs> that bag. And spe- actually, speaking yes. of guitars, Will Will comments again. His cousin Eddie owns SIT Strings. Oh, well, actually, yes. we're we were going to go. We were going to do that. We were going to get to that. <laughs> Eddie's. He's a friend of the show. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. Aww. Very Here. nice well, guy. It's your idea. It's funny. Well, I was just to say, don't you crinkle know, the bag too much. Don't crinkle it. Uh, <laughs> don't tempt me. <laughs> uh, this, you know, whole show is brought to you by Lays. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard that one before. I'm sure. <laughs> no, I mean, it was, it was an easy. Yes. Right there. Have just one. Right. <laughs> so if oh, we got a few. Lays potato chips would like to contribute to the show. Uh, <laughs> Where's the Lay's pretzels? I mean, uh, pretzel show. They're being laid. They're Snyder's out. Snyder's guitar shop didn't come on today. Right. So. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> what about Lutz? So, Sorry. hey, it's a new month. Yeah. It I, is November. It's freaking November already. And I know. the I cold has finally hit us. Talking about our weather. That's yeah. what we like to do. Soon we'll have our man in the sky uh, hit us up. Uh, soon. We will get a uh, traffic... And weather cam copter or something. Yes, well, that's in the works. Something. We're just trying to trying to get the contracts all yes, signed. Yes, and that's stuff. difficult. There's a lot of legalities. Yeah, you know, with, lawyers get involved, yeah. and it's you know everyone wants paid. The FCC so, and all right. that. All those guys. FAA. FAA. Right. It's a bunch of F's in there somewhere. I knew that was. So anyhow, it is getting colder. Unfortunately, this might be a good seat, good year for the lake. Might be ice, ice baby, <laughs> <laughs> ice, ice baby yeah. on the PLX. There you go. Because if you live on the lakes, <laughs> you, when it freezes nicely, it's a lot of fun. You can either fish or you can have an ATV out there, or you can ice skate. Or you can take a snowmobile out there. Station wagon, Station motorcycles, wagon. Jeep. motorcycles. Yes, Suburbans. studded. I mean, what? Suburbans. <laughs> yes. I mean, Go-karts, I didn't do that. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, it's it's all fun. So looking forward to that this winter. Um, coming up, uh, well, it is November. It is Thanksgiving this month, mm-hmm. right? And just a shout out here to uh, King Bubba's Ribs. Mm-hmm. Two, mm-hmm. two. Remember the two. two. I don't know two. why, but two. It's something. <laughs> it was it's already Roman a king's. Num- it's a Roman numeral two, mm-hmm. correct? Not the way he had it. I okay. doubt it. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Right. Um, anyhow, uh, if you don't want to cook this uh, Thanksgiving. Get all to Bubba um, on Facebook, PM for details, but smoked whole uh, turkey or turkey breast for the holidays. That sounds delicious. It does. Definitely does. And we've had King Bubba's uh, wares in here. They yes. were delicious. Yes. Damn. Yes. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> that one really was... went far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank this you, room Dan. This like 60 feet Yes, deep. it just keeps going and going and going. Um, coming up here tomorrow, Howie's, the second, uh, Brew Dog Tap Takeover, 
Uh, and they're dropping their new menu. What? what? How are they going to drop it? Like a bomb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like it's hot. Well, I'm sorry. Menu. Thank you, Wes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, so that's happening uh, tomorrow, and I did see they have jambalaya on there, which mm. is interesting. Yum. Yum. Um, Saturday, they're having a fundraiser. Um, Tori is going on a mission trip, and she's trying to raise money. Uh, she's one of the uh, food runners down there and might be related to someone that might own it. Not sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, but raffle baskets and bake sale and uh, also DJ. So check that out on Saturday at Howie's. Ouch! Ah, where'd it go? Oh, still going. It's still going. going. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It hit hit that little bell. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Uh, Well, we'll move that. Nice shot. Thank you. Thank you. He was aiming. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, The Upper Deck, uh, Wednesday, starting tonight, uh, 5 to 9, Stir Fry Bar Night. If you know the deck's pasta night, which on Mondays, same get up right there. But it's Stir Fry. So that's interesting. Um, I have to check that and out. It's a, but I'm here. Bring me some food. It's like a bar, right? <laughs> so you make your own? I think yeah, so. I, I think it is. It is. Oh, well, nice. you order it and they make it for you. Wait, you pick what you want in it. So, oh, okay. And it's Stir Fry Maybe Wednesdays. You can order it with Jeff. Yes. Yeah. Jeff, Jeff. Jeff. on your Drop way home off. tonight, bring us some right. stir fry. He goes mm-hmm. right by. You have our cards on file. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's all I have. I don't have much happening right now. Everyone's getting tuned up for the new month. In the lakes, tuned up, tuned up, tuned up. Mm-hmm. So, um, the, uh, if you got some parties coming up, oh, yeah. pajama not party? till like the seventeenth, but you know, get them on your calendar. Uh, at the deck, yeah. At the oh, deck. I see. Okay, that. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, you guys got something going on at uh, the harbor, uh, which is on tap at the harbor, or the Smoking Claw, anything in the area. Please hit us up. Let us know so we can help you mm-hmm. promote. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What nice. you got going on? We'll there, take a, We'll go to this real quick, and then we'll come back with the local music all right happenings. cool the show is brought to you by our good friend steve shoemaker of shoemaker rigging located at 3385 miller park road in akron thank you shoe thank you shoe mm-hmm. all right yes hey real quick yep. i want to say some highs to people that are uh, watching ginger hi to ginger hi ginger diana who says her dad is virgil lay no what? We got the whole family. We got the whole, whole lady. family. <laughs> Steve Russell says, what's up? And hello, Lisa, who loves Bubba's ribs. Sweet. There you go. All right. So we'll stay caught up on that. Say hi. Get everybody in there. Yeah, it was great. Hi. Also, also Ginger, Ginger uh, gave an update for the game, but I won't say it out loud in case anybody's got the DVR going. World Series is going on. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We got a yeah. lot of <laughs> we got a lot of viewers. Yeah. Considering, you know. I know. Oh, hi, Shane. We There's did another until one. I just said that. Yeah, they're like, yeah, oh, they're, crap, whoop, on. I mm-hmm. forgot that was on. Shane. Shaner. Not Shane Smith. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 we use no last names. Uh, Not the Shaner. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll go over the uh, local uh, music in the area coming up. On, we'll start with On Tap at the Harbor. This Saturday evening is Brooke Turneau, I believe is how you... Sir, 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 sir. I don't sir, know. No. I don't know. Turneau. T-O-U-R. There's an X in there somewhere. It's so acoustic. I believe. It's, it's French. Right. Oh, no. It's spelled different. I mean, I, but anyway, that's happening 8 to 12 at On Tap. Uh, on to the upper deck, and we need to get this guy on the show. Saturday yes. night, Colin DeSalt's playing at the Upper Deck. Check that out. Our good friends, John, Eddie, and... Yeah, they're Jonathan Edward Project. They sometimes play with three pieces. They're playing Saturday night at the Smoke and Claw. He's the bass player. We don't Dude, talk about he, bass players. Yeah, Dave. <laughs> yeah, but it... Yeah, so anyway, they're typically a two-piece acoustic, but then Dave sets in on bass sometimes. And then at KC's Nashville Nights, I don't know what this is, but it's the Flannel Planet 90s party is Friday night. Anybody know? Sounds like, Jeff, you should be no there. I would, you should be I, there, Jeff. I, yeah, he I'm, did I'm receive a flannel dressed for, for the his occasion. birthday <laughs> from <laughs> his buddy what? Rob. Convert me to a flannel yeah. I, I don't no. have one. Rob, Rob got him a flannel. <laughs> this, <laughs> that way he can be <laughs> part of the band when you guys all jam. Right. You know? He did I mention like that. not a surf now or something. You know. Oh, really? 
90s. Just I don't 90s have any gear. It is. Seems like I don't have anything for Saturday night at well, case. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> See on, if, just to see if you're paying attention. Come then on, man. Saturday Whoa. night, um, big show at Casey's. Our good friends interwoven. Oh, uh, right, they're yeah. wrapping up the 2017 season. They might be on a little hiatus for a while, so if it's you know, check them out. And, and it's a special and rock special night. guest Zach. Zach Roberts is opening. Oh, up. Zach's awesome. yeah. Friend of the show. He's been on a couple times. Yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> so it, it will be rock. Normally Saturday's country, but they they will not oh, be yeah. doing performing any country. Which country? Rawhide, maybe. Yes. No. <laughs> no. no. Have a shirt How about now? whip it? Yeah. Whip it by the Devos. Yeah. Well, maybe <laughs> the Devos. <laughs> um, we've not mentioned Frank's place before. I don't oh, yeah. think on the show, but then there's uh, some other good friends of ours are playing a Frank Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Kleiner Callahan. Yeah. With yes. special guest Miss Emily on some vocals too. Oh, oh, yeah. nice. And if, and, and, and if you're busy Saturday Excellent. night, Friday night, they're at the Giant Eagle. Oh, yes. That's correct. Ooh, yeah. uh, in the falls. Big I believe Bird so. Big Bird has music in the Big Bird has music yeah. in the Giant Eagle. Yeah, yeah, it's Big Bird? Cool. Yeah. Big, Big Bird. <laughs> it, it, yeah, Big Bird. <laughs> Crunch on Sunday? Yeah. Yes. I'm a giant eagle playing a cellar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, is anyone else uh, playing with them, Joel? I, I can't uh, can't answer that. Wrong. Okay, good. So we're, we're going to move on. I'm, I'm going to have a bit of a, dile- a dilemma for Saturday oh, night. Geez. So anyway, and then our good friend Tom, uh, who manages Billy Morris, Sunset Strip, he messaged us earlier, and he's like, hey, there's a new place in Parma. It's called The Playground, and Billy Morris Sunset Strip's playing there this Friday night. Nice. So you might want to check that out. All right. Too. A lot of stuff going on. Rock rock. There it is. Yeah. Not only the lakes, but all the way up in Parma. Right. <laughs> yes. And, Friends of the and, show. And hi to Tom, who's watching in Iowa tonight. Iowa? Is he in Des Moines? Iowa. We don't talk to them this week. Well, he's week. not in Delaware. Who is that? He's I not Tom, in Delaware? Yeah, we don't talk to <laughs> Iowa people this week. This is... Uh, oh. Oh. Play oh, yeah, that's right. Well, Buckeyes play in Iowa work. Saturday. Right. Yeah, we'll right. talk. Can still right. talk to him. All right. Wait a second. He's, don't worry. He's cool. Okay, 1001. Since it's wine season back in, which yes. we don't... This is no. Coco, of course. Coco. Coco. You know Coco. Robbie. Uh, we need some of them stickers for these. Yeah, Robbie Hendricks. Mr. Hendricks. Yes. Mm-hmm. Labels. Yes. Akron Canton Graphics. For all your sign and labels. Uh, yes. And I want one, too. <laughs> yeah. We need some more of them little stickers. Yes. You did such a great job, Robbie, that we're asking for more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please. All right. I think we need to get Dan and Joel up here. I think Let's you're, I think I you're right. So we need some silly music. Woo. Benny Hill. Oh, we just saw him Thursday. <laughs> oh, my God. Axel. He's looking better now. <laughs> he is. He's looking you know. better, but we saw Axel. <laughs> yeah. All right. All so right. Let's get Dan and Joel oh. yeah. up here. Oh, Lay the yeah. guitar. Take a seat. Help yourselves. You might want to shuffle both in from this same side. It's maybe easier out of the way. Yeah. 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 Hey! Yay! Somebody needs to be on the mic. Hang on a second. Who? Huh? Somebody needs to be on that mic. Oh, yeah. Whoever's asking questions. (laughs) All of us. Hey, you guys got matching shirts. Yes. Very cool. We tried. You like it? I do. I did it myself. Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Wow, I didn't think I was that big. (laughs) All right. Let's be round of applause. Yes. All right. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much for having us. Thanks for being here. Um, So tell us about the shop. I mean, it's Lay's Guitar in Kenmore, correct? And it's on the boulevard? It is on the boulevard. Which is really up and coming now. They're working on it. Yeah. Yeah? And you guys are a big part of it, I assume. Yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat, yeah. Yeah. You know, trying to get businesses back in the area. They did the better block there couple months back and uh they're really trying to improve the area so we hope it uh it helps even us in the long run well i'm sure it will there's uh i see things all the time posted um that events are happening mm-hmm. and at the rialto theater over there <coughs> yeah. is that where the 97 yeah. is the old 97 
Uh, or, not too far. It's farther no. down. Yep. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I've never been there. Three I've more. been to Kenmore since I played Pee Wee football, so it's, it's been a long time. Really it's been a minute then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last couple years, at least a couple years. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So cool. Cool. Um, tell us about what you do at the shop. Um, um, I mean, you sell guitars. What else you do? Well, we do a little bit of everything. You know, we do uh, guitar restoration. You know, any more uh, old guitars have a lot of value, uh, depending on which ones they are. So we, uh, uh, you know, do a lot of, you know, restoration work. We've got into a lot of custom building lately. And we do just your basic, you know, repair work as well as for people that are uh, playing the guitar and they've got a problem with it. They bring it in and we take care of it. So anything that needs to be done, we can do. We got the crew. And even Dan Gable's back with us. No oh. No. no. You let that guy in there? Yeah. Well, we keep him in the basement. I was, like, oh, okay. I was exiled for 20 years, and they finally allowed me back to the basement. So I want to hear about the history. So I know there's a lot of history. Uh, I want to hear that piece of the equation. Well, let me start that. Mr. Lay uh, was a musician here in Akron. He had moved up from the south, and uh, uh, he started repairing his own instruments, and he would start getting uh, friends of his to ask him to fix things, and, and uh, basically he went in with Lee East, who owns Staff Music, and uh, they worked together for a while, and then they sort of parted ways, and uh, Virgil then went with the, with the guitar repair. I started working for him in 1979 as a teenager uh, in high school, and then my brother Joel came along in the early 90s, and uh, then Dan Dan worked with me uh, at the shop down at the at the old shop in the basement. In the basement, we were all in the basement then. Started there. Yeah, we were all in the basement. Started in the basement. I'm still in the basement. We had the coffee shop above us. Uh, yeah, that's right. The coffee dripping, the coffee just pouring out of the ceiling. Sometimes. Refrigerator leaking on oh, us. Oh yeah. yeah, good times. The, the good old days. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I bet it smelled good. Coffee smells. But good. The, no, so, not really. No. no. <laughs> not, not when it was smelling good on top of a ten thousand uh, dollar Martin acoustic. Uh, yeah. The lacquer, yeah. the lacquer kind of covered up yeah, the coffee smell. Yeah. Tempered anyways, the know. smell of the. Coffee Guitar, guitars don't like coffee as much as I do. <laughs> right. No, no. Yeah, so I started in 91 working with, with my brother, and uh, it's been 26 years. And uh, I mainly do a lot of the refinish work, uh, the restoration work, and then start really trying to push some of the building um, a little bit further along. So Dan really specializes in, in a lot of the vintage um, work and uh, he has most knowledge about that but uh, we try to team up and do as much as we can and get the other guys involved and in, so they can help us out so and you're, you're basically international people send you guitars from all over to yes. refinish and yes or special orders that type of thing what is if you're allowed to say what is one of the most unique situations uh, where someone sent you a guitar to restore or if you're allowed to talk about it <laughs> well to something interesting I won't say who but excuse in fact that kind of comes in handy the word who but uh, <laughs> we actually just had a, a customer recently from New York City he actually brought in two of Pete Townsend's guitars that Pete actually smashed and he brought them to us. He bought them from the roadie, and uh, he's having us put them back together so that uh, they can be played and enjoyed once again. That's just something recently. That's awesome. That is. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. And he numbered all his guitars, didn't he? That's right. We have number. If you look up online and you look up guitar number four, they got broke in 1979. That's the guitar we have right at the moment. Oh wow! Sweet. Wow, that's yep. pretty awesome. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. I mean, I'm telling you, it's, you're not letting Dan touch that thing, are you? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it once. I never saw it again. He, he can only touch it if it has he has gloves on. There you go. <laughs> only if it comes to the basement. <laughs> He's looking at it through glass, and there's yeah. drool marks. So. Yeah. So, so let's see some of these things. Let's, yeah, these are really it. neat. We just start making some acoustics. Um, we mainly have focused on electrics, but uh, we had a, a local maker, guitar maker in the area, was working for us for a little while, Joe Heindel. Real good maker. He's got a meticulous eye, and um, he kind of helped us get these going. Uh, this one here is a uh, torrified uh, spruce top, but it also has Brazilian rosewood, awesome. which is you can't get anymore unless you have the certificates site certificates that go with it so this is a a, a real brazilian rosewood uh, body very rare yes very so we today yes and that is a Lay's guitar right there yep, yep. that was yeah, see scratch it. built in our shop nice see it on the headstock so yeah so we're we're doing some more acoustics um but again our mainstay is mainly electrics but uh we had a, I had a good time doing a lot of this build and, and getting some of the, the parts all manufactured so we could put it together. So Yeah, the, the idea for this one, I had a gentleman in 2013 come into my shop. He had this little rickety raggedy case. He opened it up, and I about passed out. It was an, actually a, an actual 30s Martin Advanced Jumbo, which is what this is basically built after. And I was so impressed with the guitar that I got online and I found some Brazilian rosewood and it had been sitting at my shop until six months ago and we decided to go ahead and build that guitar. How so that's very something fun. like that cost? I mean, what... Now, the, the original vintage one that he brought in, they're very rare. They made 300 of them. Mm -hmm. wow. And a really nice one will probably bring around $60,000. Oh, <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <laughs> to put it in perspective, you know, when you see people buying $2,000, $3,000, guitar it, it, that's not even anything compared to if you're buying real vintage stuff you could spend hundreds of thousands on a real Les Paul wow. Wow. but in this case like this has Brazilian rosewood I mean if you if you can find a certified set I mean it's gonna probably cost you just for the the back wood and the side wood maybe a thousand dollars or more just that, for the wood, just and, for that, the wood. And, that, and that's a deal and, and that's, gonna, and that's yeah. like an eighth of an inch thick it's, it's not, hard. It's not like you can't a, get the rosewood. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, when, they, when they went through Brazil, they just ravaged those forests. So the government stepped in and basically carboshed it. And that's what's neat about this is this, uh, they cut most of the stumps about eye level. So there's been guys going in and harvesting the old growth that's there. And that's what this is made out of. It's basically made out of, I mean, a this stump. Th stump, yeah. yeah it could have been made, a tree could have been a thousand years old. Wow. Mm. But uh, the neat thing is I got the, the site's paperwork with it so I can sell this guitar anywhere in the world. That's right. Nice. Yeah. So, awesome. so we want right. to hear this guitar? I, yeah. Yeah. I, I think we should probably hear yeah. Yeah. Let's get Do you have anybody that can play this, this thing? <laughs> oh, I think Mr. West McCraw can play it here. I'd love to. He grabbed that as soon as he walked in here. He said, I won't play this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. So Wes, that's the first time you played that guitar. Yes. Step up, step up to the, the microphone if you right want, or yep. bring it to you. Yeah, One or two. Gotcha. Yeah. So first time you played that guitar. Correct. Yes. What? How? What did you think of it? Well, like all their guitars, I played a lot of the guitars in the shop, and it plays great. The neck feels great. The tone's awesome. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking, since we were talking about Pete Townshend earlier, I'm going to smash it right. Now. <laughs> We can fix it. I know, I know Gable knows how to fix these things. He I can brought do it. super glue. We can fix it. <laughs> no, nah, it feels great. They make super quality stuff over there, man. They really do, and uh, it, it feels great. And you can hear how good it sounds, probably even over the internet. You know, it's it's got a nice warm tone, and uh, it plays good. I want to take it home with me. <laughs> I was I was just going to ask you: Is that a guitar that you would uh, want to own? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a super high quality instrument. I mean, they talked about the uh, the wood and the rarity of it, and uh, and the tone shows. I mean, when you have that sort of uh, that old wood and the way it resonates is is special. So. It'll get better with time, right? Yeah, absolutely. The older it gets, it's gonna sound better. The tone changes over time with age. Yeah, and it can. How the, yeah. the wood uh, more so wears on in. acoustics. Yeah, acoustics mm -hmm. literally will open up as they age. Yeah, electrics the are electrics. They're plugged into an amp, turned up really loud. Yeah, the, the finish. The finish might get a little, uh, you know, a little ch might change a little. You know, the, get a little darker. Wood, you know, the wood totally changes as it as it dries and ages. Yeah, acoustic guitars especially. Also, if it sounds good now, it will only sound get better. better. Yes. If it doesn't sound good, it may start sounding better. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. <laughs> well, there's little tricks that you can do. Like uh, there was a guy that came in. His he had this handmade guitar done for him in New York. He brings it in. It just doesn't sound lively. So we told him stick it in front of a, a speaker, like a stereo, every, like a stereo speaker, and every time you go to to work, turn it on. Sympathetic it, vibration just it, opens it, it up. It yes, it's like a living thing. That's it's like right. A plant. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. resonating. It's like resonating you're, like you're playing. Like it. you're playing it, and you're not. You're spending yeah. you know eight hours of work, and meanwhile that guitar is still going. Ah, breathing. Yeah, it's what? getting. It, it's aging. Yeah, also what helps is we mentioned there's a Torify top that's a heat treated wood. It's pre aged. And it, it pre ages it. So it will assimilate wood that's already 30, 40, 50 years old. So it's already breaking in. So right. You awesome. can feel it against your body too when you yeah. play it. You can feel the resonance hitting you in the belly. This yeah. big, big open sound. Great. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Wes. Thank you, Wes. Thank you, Wes. Yeah. Well done. We got, yeah. We've got eight guitars in here, three players. So we're gonna we're gonna bring on another one here yeah. uh, to talk about. And then, this one is uh, might be my favorite. That's one Maybe. of my favorites. I got a toss up right now, but that is that's, cool. That is very cool. That's as cool as it gets. <laughs> Tell us about that. This is a very interesting guitar. My brother scored some eighteen uh, hundreds barn silo wood. So this is actually reclaimed barn wood. Uh, and we built a guitar around it. It's got a solid, it's an all rosewood neck. Uh, if you see here, it's actually got the actual old nail holes uh, that were spiked that held everything together. Uh, this one features wide range pickups and we've got them wired so they're, you can do series parallel. It's an extremely versatile guitar. It's very lightweight and it resonates very well. Yeah, that that this wood also is is torrified or it's tempered they call it, so it has been uh, heat treated as well. We also have antique copper, just to highlight a little bit of of the age of the wood. Kind of goes with that theme, I think, a, li a little bit better. Yeah, so. distressed is in right now. That's yeah, what, that makes me think of it's really neat. Good. And reclaimed. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, I think it follows a nice theme theme there. Well, we had someone on the show that uh, purposely had their guitar made like Rory Gallagher, if you've ever seen his uh, Strat that he plays, that is distressed. And mm -hmm. he's only had one guitar in his life, but he, the guy purposely had it made that way. That's right. So you guys can do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have the one that we had been displaying um it looks like roy buchanan's old telly oh so um <laughs> i built it and distressed it and it looks like that so but we just sold it a couple weeks ago so i don't have anything relic here tonight that's really that's that guitar right. super unique though 
think that's what's going And wait for it. They're making a, what are you Football making the match? Natural wear on the back, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the, the conversion 1954 Les Paul we brought has got uh, some natural wear on it. it. Actually, it wasn't done deliberately. It is actual true playing wear from the history, uh, you know, that guitar being played over the years. Yeah. We'll show you that one here in a little bit. It's pretty neat. Let's hear this bad. Yep. Yeah. All right. Turn it over to Mr. Matt Sweeney here. All right. guitar here was a real resurrection. True resurrection. <laughs> it actually had seen uh, some better days. Some people did some pretty nasty things to it. And uh, it, it, it's an extremely rare guitar. It's an early 70s factory humbucking guitar. Uh, most of the guitars in that era came with the smaller mini humbucks, where this one was, a, was a, an early order for the full-size humbuckings, which makes the guitar extremely rare. If it would have been left alone, instead of uh, being kind of mangled the way it was, it would have been probably about a $7,000 guitar. But uh, we restored it back to its former glory, and, and uh, we're very happy with the end results from it. What did you have to do to restore it? I hate to even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it was butchered. It was. It, it actually had a Floyd Rose tremolo system. Oh, holy crap. Which takes so, putting a hole all the way through the guitar, yeah. top to bottom. So at one point you could see, you know, it was completely route. Well, can, we like to say it looked like someone used a beaver to chisel it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chewed a it wild out. beaver. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a tame one. So it wasn't routed even correctly or professionally. So uh, filling all that in, this has a, a, a mahogany veneer on the back to cover up all that, as well as the front. It was all filled in, and then Dan Gable worked on it and put a new piece of maple coming up here, so it covers where the uh, previous route was. Yeah. It's full great. of wood. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can't tell there's anything that's been done to it. That's the thing, you know. Uh, let's hear this bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffy can't wait. Jeff, Jeff's ready to write it. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is he, is he, is he to get another guitar. No. No. <laughs> Demonstrating this one is Mr. Matt Shannon.
Thanks, warm. Matt. Very warm. <clears throat> Sound like Maga Brain for a second, but. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't Saturday night at midnight. No, like, exactly. You know. No, but... <laughs> it wasn't MMS. Yes. Sounds a little bit better than that tissue that was packed in there, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> that, that was the other thing is they had filled it with tissue and mm-hmm. some type of sprayable foam. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was uh, spray foam. Spray yes. foam. The worst. Guitar, he was so. experimenting in to see if he can make it tonally sound better. Yeah. yeah. It's like light tone wood. <laughs> well, you know, light, light tone foam. <laughs> well, well, the you know the tissue paper is cellulose, uh, yeah, cellulose, yeah, so it comes from trees. Kind of like wood. It's close, okay. close enough. Mm-hmm. Cardboard's next. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> What's this bad boy you got? Now this next guitar is very interesting. Hopefully the camera can catch the the beautiful wood there that that's made out of. Um, this guitar actually was a 1954 Les Paul Jr. Uh, and if most people that are familiar with guitars, a Jr. was a little bit lower end guitar that Gibson made. It had a single pickup and they were, they were flat. Um, somebody had taken the original bridge assembly and had moved it back and then installed a, a bridge. So I could have restored it back to a Jr. because it had all its original parts, had the original finish, but it had these two ugly holes that were mounted into it. So what I do is, is I call these conversions. Um, if this was an actual real 58, a 59, or a 1960, Jimmy Page, Flame Pop type, you know, Les Paul, with this type of figure, this guitar would be about $600,000. Oh. <laughs> so, so what we did is we, is we do, we convert basically the junior to that higher end guitar uh, and it's a way of allowing someone to uh, have a guitar as close as they're going to get to one of those without actually selling their vacation home and their kid and their Corvette and everything else to, to, to buy one. And their organs. Yeah. <laughs> that one needs Who needs that other kidney? Right. Firstborn. That's it. Now this, this one also is interesting because since it had had the original finish we kept actually the original original finish on the back, the serial number. Um, we just added the the maple cap, the binding, and uh, had to reconfigure some of the the joints and things like that that uh, where the neck meets the body. So we do this quite a bit. Dan specializes in that. Um, I have a CNC machine that has this 3D um, model. And I can carve it out on the CNC machine, and then Dan takes it from there and sand, uh, finish sands it and uh, uh, puts the binding on, and then does the finish. Excellent, sweet, awesome. excellent. I'm gonna trade you. Sure, beautiful Pass guitar. We're bringing one of your originals in. Yes, Mr. Oh, Look at that thing. That, that one might yeah. be my favorite. That's that's you. Mm-hmm. Well, this this. Uh, I'm more of an artist than anything. That's really my background. Um, I like traditional, so we have a traditional type shape here, but I always look to see how I can do something different. I say, if I'm going to do something traditional, but I want to do it in a way that someone just can't get. You can't just go into a store and find this. If you have this done at Fender, they're going to have to, you're going to have to get at the, the custom shop and you're going to pay, you know, four or five, six thousand dollars for it, for this. And that's a deal. And that's a deal, yeah. Mm-hmm. So this actually is fabric that is on the guitar. Oh, wow. Yep. So I just go into fabric shops and find interesting patterns. And uh, I glued it to the wood. And I actually, I don't have it with me, but I also took the fabric and made a guitar strap. So it has a matching guitar strap (laughs) that goes with it. Um, But uh, I just think it's cool. Very cool. So we all do. <laughs> We're going to pass that along. I would yeah, never guess it was fabric. Let's hear that guy. Yes. Oh, no, I spent hours painting it. And what, are, <laughs> and what kind of pickups are in this? We have a, a, a customer of ours down in uh, the Columbus area. His name is Jared Brandon. And they're Brandon Wom pickups. In fact, mo- a lot of the guitars we have, we have him custom build the pickups to us to what we want to achieve, you know, our, our specifications per guitar. We have we have like the neck just slightly overwound, 
Um, so it has a telly sound, but it doesn't have that telly cut your head off sound. So it warms it up just slightly. Sounds, you gotta play something from Donovan. I'm just saying. With that, <laughs> with that, uh, you know, <laughs> there like that. This one again, I want to make it my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to get that twangy hillbilly sound out of it. Y'all can get like a... little smooth jazz. <laughs> New York City, nice. right to Nashville, yeah, right absolutely. there. <laughs> I think it, that, that's why tellies have been popular for a little while now. You can do uh, because, a lot more with the, the pickup configurations yeah. in that than yeah. And, and Yeah, you can almost do anything. Mm -hmm. And it's it. got chicken head knobs. That's, that's awesome. the best. <laughs> and a see-through pick guard. Yeah, I like too. that. If you, yeah, if you look in there, I, wire, I did yeah. the wiring yeah. uh, with the, the colors Very of clean. the... Oh, nice. ...that yeah. are yeah. in the fabric and so... That's why I, I tr try to do something that's just different every single time. Excellent guitar, cool. Really it cool. will tell me what it wants to be. <laughs> it's talking that, to me right now. To <laughs> that has a roasted maple neck on it. Yeah, I'll just so the next, man. The next it'll so be good. very, very stable. Yeah. That really comes in handy, too, is now that the, the weather's getting colder, lack of humidity, uh, most guitars go through changes at this time. Um, those necks don't move hardly at all, even when there's uh, little humidity and it gets very cold. So. It's like the humidity is set inside of them and they don't change. Yeah, once they've been, been yeah, yeah, once they've been heat treated, the cell structure changes. All the um, the uh, sugars and whatever where, in the cell solidifies. Where do you guys order all your wood from? Do you guys have specific places that you go to? Carter Lumber? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Home, Home Depot? Yes. Right. I'm heading there tonight. I'm going to build me a yeah. rest ball. <laughs> yes. Um, for for the, like, the roasted maples, we have one place that specializes in that. And then for the, the body woods, we do get some of this uh, wood from them um, if I'm going to have it torrified. Um, but mainly the body woods, I get down southern Ohio. There's a guy that uh, actually makes a lot of bodies for... Um, is he Amish by chance? No, he's not. No, okay. and then I, but, he, but he, he knows, knows a few. <laughs> he's, he's a builder? Is yeah, he builds. He has a CNC machine. Well, he just... He doesn't build anything build finished. anything. You can just buy components. From components. Oh, okay. He now start making necks, but uh, he'll supply Stuart McDonald um, uh, their bodies, um, which is a famous place that you can get a lot of wood parts as well as the the guitar parts, the tuners, the pickups, so you can build a whole guitar. Wow. So, 
What's this sparkly unit you got? This, oh, what do we got now? This is a must have for anybody that's on stage. <laughs> yes. This thing is as. That's as sparkly crazy. as it can get. It's Glam really rock. Crazy. It is glittery. Gary Glitter. Nice. And it's a fade. Joel decided to do a fade from a blue to a green to make it completely different. That's and uh, the neck is done. Uh, in fact, what was interesting is we went to the Nashville Guitar Show last spring. And we actually had an orange Telecaster where we did the neck and the body. And uh, we had this gentleman that came up and he kept looking at it and he was kept wanting to check it out. And he decided, I got to have this guitar. So we worked a deal out with him. And here he plays with Mickey Dolenz. And uh, uh, what was interesting is he actually, they were at Kent Stage um, two weeks after the show and he gave us tickets and we went there and that was the guitar he was playing. He loved it. <laughs> Sweet. So, yeah, I, I decided to do another one, but this time I wanted it the fade. I think that's just a little, mm -hmm. again, different. You're not going to find that just anywhere. So I'm always looking to do something different. Let's yeah. hear this, Rascal. Let's hear exactly. Rascal. Jeff, Rascal. That Jeff might want that guitar, you know, with the green. Right. Jeff wants all these guitars. <laughs> Who does be clear. You got to get some shoes to match, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's already got him. He's already got him. Can you paint shoes? Can you paint shoes? Sure. Okay, brilliant. I'm bringing so my shoes in. We'll, we'll bedazzle <laughs> it for you. I'll see you Thursday, and I'll bring my, my shoes. shoes. <laughs> Just in case I need them. Don't forget your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> we digress. Uh, all right, fire this thing up. <laughs> Matt Sweeney again. question you guys uh say i'm a guitar player i'm not but if i was <laughs> and it. i wanted to, <laughs> i could say it anything i want right? <laughs> yes i know anyhow if you know i want to uh come in and say i need help learning how to set restring my guitar some, something simple like that or set it up Is, do you guys do anything for people like that yeah that's something that joel and i've been discussing that we're uh we have did some building classes in the past but uh Joel would like to do a, a sort of like a seminar um, instruction type class that we're actually working on. Hopefully here in 2018, we'll be able to offer. And yeah, it's funny you mentioned mounting guitar strings. You wouldn't believe the nightmares that come in <laughs> of people that don't know how to, to, to even mount strings. But I can tell you personally, I've worked for a guy that's made more than $100,000 a year playing a guitar and he can't put a string on to save his life. Yep. Sad. You don't, you don't need to mention that. Names will be <laughs> <laughs> Sorry that I mentioned your annual income there. But, but, uh, uh, man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it, but it, it's, it's funny, though. It's, yeah. Like, I, I, he, I, he doesn't know how to string a guitar. Yeah. It's something you take yeah. for granted that a right. player yeah, would right. be able to do. But if I, if they I drove can play. a car for a living, I would know how to change a tire. You don't know how to change a tire? Yeah, but I do. Okay, but that's another show. That's another show. That's another show. We can do that show tonight, too. And you guys are getting into more acoustics, obviously, with the one that you show, which hadn't been in the previously, like what you have in front of you. This is another one here. I like the size of that. Yeah, this is a little bit smaller. This is a great finger-picking guitar. I mean, it sounds awesome. This also has the Torfi top bracing 
This is uh, um, Indian rosewood, very common acoustic wood. Uh, just another thing that we also make our own plastic that you see here. Uh, I laser cut these out. Um, we make these out of epoxy so we can mix up any designs we want. Um, Lasers. And colors. <laughs> colors, yeah. I can do any color you want. Lasers? <laughs> we'll put some sparkle in it for you, too. Sure. So so that's very cool. From start to finish, roughly... Oh, don't ask me how long it takes. Roughly. Just, <laughs> you know, it for, it for depends the, on our mood. For the lay like person like out there that doesn't... Get it, lay know. person? Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably, really, like for the... Th we had three that we did at one time. It took probably close to six months just to do the three... But we've got so much other work. We're sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Jumping you know, back and forth. Jumping back and forth, yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. generally speaking, stopwatch on each time you touch it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, and, and again, not ha putting you on the spot price range-wise, but give a rough range of these guitars. Like, the, if somebody wanted to come in and buy one or these, wanted to order one or whatever, maybe. Jeff, get your checkbook out. Don't nice. worry about it. It's numbers. Got a checkbook. <laughs> these numbers. numbers. This, like, this model, money. it retails for about 4200 Okay. That one there... Sorry, my alarm. Uh, that's that's, that's uh, it's dinner time. Yeah. Yes. No, that's your hot dogs are done. That's <laughs> call my mom because she's got to take her medicines. Oh. At night. oh. I thought your wife was. Oh. If you're watching, yeah. Wait, we have relatives take watching. Take your meds. We have relatives watching. <laughs> tell them to tell mom. Too. <laughs> tell your mom to take your medicine. Call her real yes. quick and get her on the show. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> would you really like that? They that would be awesome. That would be awesome. <laughs> Should we do that? Is she cool? Yeah. Okay, call her. Then we're going to put <laughs> Jeff's mom on. Oh, wow. yeah. This is straight up Dave Letterman style. Well, why not? <laughs> hey, Ma. She'll be like, what? Hey, Ma, you're on TV. Now, I tell you, right oh, now, I call her. She's 78. Oh. She suffers from dementia. Well. But not too heart. bad. Sometimes she can't remember what day it is. But speaker. she, uh. Same here. She's probably watching <laughs> Hogan's Heroes. You might oh, hear it in the back. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Choice, Ma. Hey, Mom. Hi, hon. How you doing? I'm doing good. Are you watching TV? Yeah. What are you watching? Um, the one with uh, Alf. Oh, Alf? Alf's a good one. What's that? <laughs> what, what, what are they laughing at? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it's you're it's actually it's on 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 the internet, live on a on a uh, a TV show. Oh, on the internet, live on a on a. Uh, a TV show. A podcast. A podcast, kind of like a pod TV show. Like Alf. So everyone's listening to you. Just like Alf. Yes, yeah, we are like Alf. Alf. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hey, 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 Mom. Hey. <laughs> but your alarm went off while we were doing the interview, so they said, why don't you call your mom? Remind her to go take her medicines. <laughs> so I'll let you go ahead and take your medicine, and uh, I won't wait for you on the phone, but I'll let you take them, okay? Okay. Okay. Love you, Mom. Good night, Mom. Bye. 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 That was sweet. That was sweet. awesome. My mom is probably one of the sweetest people. Oh, so you can, you can ask my wife. Yeah. 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 You know how some people don't like in-laws, the mother-in-laws? She's great. She's awesome. I was going to say she's better than me. You can't just put me on speaker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, she has no problem. We're going to have a whole show with... Uh, um, Calling moms. Yes. Anyway, back to... The neck is what now? This neck is mahogany. We... This one that yeah we get the that's got the ebony bridge and fingerboard. Mm -hmm. So Eric clapped and this is very similar to the size that he likes to play, and it's a great jazz blues type. Let's uh, fire this thing What's that comparable to uh, Martin? Is that like a? It, it's actually it's lot? actually actually a Gibson designed after oh. uh, a Gibson double O. That's double o. that's okay. that's the size. Fire this thing up. Let's yeah. Yeah. Let's hear that. This is full blown, just he straight was acoustic, all right. right? Just, he just acoustic. Right. Just acoustic. Just acoustic. Just acoustic.
playing guitar like last week, right? <laughs> last year. Last year. Yeah. Give him a year. He's been, a year. Come on, give him a little more credit. He's been at a little bit longer than that. <laughs> yeah, that's... And what would you think of that? It, oh, it, it's, it's, it's another awesome guitar. I've actually... I, I got to play this the... I think it was the day you brought it down onto the floor at the shop I was in having one of my other guitars worked on and I, Don came out and said, hey, play this. <laughs> sure. And so this is not your first time with this instrument? With this guitar, no. <laughs> I, this is my second time uh, and it plays better this time than the Third time, time you got to buy her a drink. I, I know. <laughs> I, I, I got to watch it. My girlfriend get mad. <laughs> Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's a great finger picking guitar, isn't it? It is. It's it, perfect for that. It, it, the, the strings are spaced just right, so I'm not getting tied up. You know, some guitars are too close, and you end up hitting it, and it's just destroying everything you play. And this one just plays really nice. The neck feels great. So. Nice resonance to it, really, like it, it hums does. for a little guitar. It hums. Sweet! And I, I, I think one of the highlights as a builder is you do everything that you can do up to the point where you put it in the player's hands. Right. And then you're waiting for that, please, does this sound good? Is it going to sound good or not? And does then it you work? Hear it. <laughs> does it work? Then when you hear it. Yeah. Uh, you have clues along the way. You can tap it. You, you tap tone it. You, 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 you tap the wood before you even begin cutting it. And you can hear what its possibilities there's, are. Yeah, there's tone to uh, yeah. wood. But when you actually hear it being played, and then it's a sigh of relief that uh, it sounds that good. And, right. and you like to hear the feedback from the players to, to see what they like about it. Awesome. So, so we got another sparkly oh, one. Uh, no, what? Rob was going to ask yeah, a couple I, questions. I got a couple things. One thing, you know, back, uh, Sit Strings, which mm -hmm. they're a local company. Yep. What, whatever, S I T. Stay in tune. <laughs> Stay in tune. Yeah. The nice. acronym. So now, that was originally uh, a Lay's company, was it? Yes. Uh, actually, that's actually when I started, when I came on in 79, uh, there was a gentleman named Bob Hurd that worked with Virgil uh, at the time. And Virgil had figured out a way to kind of stabilize guitar strings. When you, when you do a setup on a guy's guitar, for example, and you restring it, you go through a process of tugging on the strings to sell them in so the guitar stays in tune. And what would happen is you'd settle it, it wouldn't stay in tune, you keep selling it, and next thing you know, the little ball end on the string goes in one direction and the rest of the string goes in another direction. Well, he figured out a way to stabilize that. And so uh, Bob Hurd and Virgil decided to go ahead and start a string company. And uh, that's what uh, Virgil's grandson uh, Eddie actually actually has that now, and uh, they do they do really well with it. That's what we put on all of our guitars. Yeah, cool. sweet, yeah. sweet. And do you guys have something coming up uh, next week, possibly? We have the Philadelphia Guitar Show, <laughs> yeah. so we'll be there. Is that in, in Philadelphia? It yes, is. it is. Not <laughs> New Philadelphia. Not New Philly. It's not New no. Philly. It's Philadelphia. This is the real PA. Old Philly. Old Philly. Old Philly. Old Philly. Yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> right, right. We're going to go run up the steps. Dun, 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 there, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. With a guitar. With a guitar. Please. <laughs> we might make it up a quarter of the way. Who knows? Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, but we I got won't. that coming up. We'll, we're going to display all these guitars, but we got a lot more. Um, to display, we could only bring so many with us, but uh, that's where we'll be. All right, and I see you have a sparkly one on Very your lap sparkly. there. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah. That's pretty so this is, this is ice. Ice, ice, ice blue. Ice, ice, ice blue. Ice, 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 ice Speaking of ice, ice again. Ice, ice, bluey? That'd yeah. So, uh, yeah, again, this has a torfied neck. We also, you know, try to get higher end components, like this is what's called a Callahan bridge which is a little bit heavier steel, compensated brass saddles, um, even... Where's those, where are those pickups from? Th these are, those are also Brandon Jones. Wound pickups. Those too. are Brandon Wound? Yeah, yes. these are Brandon. He made the wide range pickup for the, for the uh, and he's, neck. Where's he, where's he at? He's down in Columbus? In Columbus, yeah. Yep. So, but... Uh, it pretty dang local. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nice. we, we try to keep it as local as we can. Keep it real up in the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And the neck is... 
This is the roasted maple. That's so beautiful. Doesn't that look great? It's actually awesome. flame. That's really it's, pretty. It's, it's yeah. flame maple. That's yeah. not colored. That's, that's just, not colored. That's, that's the that's natural, natural color, color yeah. of the wood. After when it comes it out, yeah. it, it is actually like it's been baked. Yeah. So it turns into this rich color. It really brings out the figure in the wood. And you can use highly figured mm -hmm. woods Looks where you roasted. might not. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, you might not want to use <laughs> figured woods without it being. Um, uh, torrified, torrified because yeah. it will keep moving it move. it'll keep moving but this when you do that heat treatment it it makes it very 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 stable it really so, makes the flame on it just pop, pop out. and yeah. it just jumps off uh, yeah. off the neck yeah i if, if it's if i get a piece of wood that's this figure i'm trying to make the flame really pop out yeah by well, lacquers by right. stains but this is simple torrify and, and spray it and it's, it's jumping yeah that so, looks great. Yeah. All right. All right. So a demo. Let's let's hear demo. this beast. <laughs> Pass it on down. West McCraw again. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Yeah. Tickles. Get loud, man. <laughs> Get loud. <laughs> Take home with you. It could be another girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> How many are you allowed to have, Wes? I don't know. I'm thinking about becoming Mormon so I can just have all the girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Is that wrong? Am I live right now? <laughs> <laughs> now, once again, this guitar is so cool because you heard how how chicken pickety it sounded before, but then you got. Big fat sound. Very cool. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Great nice. sound, man. Great sound. Yeah. Cool. Thanks to these guys. These guys make them. The there you go. Yep. <laughs> what else? All right. Who I mean, else? Guitars we got. I think that's we that's it. Yeah. We've been through them. That's not we, enough. We can go back to the shop and get, <laughs> we can get some more. I don't want to miss any. We've got half a room guitars. of guitars oh, left. Lord. We can go yeah. get some more. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. was the most gear tarted show ever. <laughs> 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 gear tarted. That, that's just wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, you know, wrong. Dan, that's a lot wrong. of a lot of guys end up with gas. Guitar acquiring syndrome. Yeah. You got. That's right. You gotta <laughs> have it. Yeah, so much gas. Uh, I have gas. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, but there's yes. there's guys that just they have collections and collections and collections. Uh, I have customers. Uh, that, yeah, I, sorry. Hey, that's what. Those gas. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the guitar but acquired. I have customers that have hundreds of guitars in their collection. Oh, so. sure. Yeah, some of the uh, I saw that Joel posted earlier, and some of the people you worked on their guitars really impressed uh you know joe walsh some of my heroes joe walsh phil keggy one of my big heroes right there yep um that you guys actually did the work on their their stuff it's just amazing to me um akron ohio right there. i'm sorry 
Kenmore, Kenmore Ohio. Kenmore. <laughs> it, it was annexed by Akron. It's Akron. Right. Okay, it's Akron. <laughs> ah, it is what it is. But, yeah. I mean, it's just impressive stuff, man. And we, I want to see you guys continue doing what you're doing. I well, think we, we all do. Yeah, that's yeah. what we hope to, to keep doing. And um, we have a second floor, so the uh, probably early January, February, we're going to put a, a showroom upstairs. And it'll be mainly acoustic, so we're going to carry some of ours, but along the lines of high-end acoustics like Bourgeois, um, Santa Cruz, uh, probably uh, Collings. I'm not so, sure. Yeah, some that. of the other high-end builders that really make yeah. really, really nice stuff. We have a partner we're going to work with on that. And then on the back half is where we hope to do workshops and seminars. Okay. So if you want to learn how to put strings on, how to make a bone nut, to Excuse design me? and <laughs> for your guitar, <laughs> for your guitar, a bone nut and saddle. Okay. For acoustics and electrics, really bring out um, the uh, qualities, acoustic qualities in the instruments. Um, to designing a guitar, to even building one. That's right. awesome. awesome. Sweet, it is very much so. Now, do you guys have a a web page at all? Yep. www.laysguitar.com. Yep. There you go. Are you guys on Facebook? Yes. And Lays Guitar. On Facebook at Lays Guitar. All right, cool. Instagram right. as well. Are Lays you on guitar. a tweeter? No, we're not tweeting. We're not tweeting <laughs> right now. Speaking of which, you know, Dave Grohl, which we're trying to get on our yes. show, <laughs> you know. I we wish need he was here Dave. to test our guitars. Be out. Be awesome. Yeah, he could test He'll them. He'll be in town in July. He'll be here for my birthday. Yes. In July, yeah. Yeah. Our birthday. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Get him on the show. Yes, easily done. No. <laughs> well, if you get him on the show and you want to have him a few tools, to, we'll be glad to bring some. Oh for my idea. goodness! Yes, let's yeah. set that up. That's a great idea. It's, it's get getting close. He we're likes getting, V's and closer. Explorers, and I know we got some V's. Oh, we got some work, V's. So. Oh yeah. yeah, we got some a batch of V's. We'll work throw a on. couple of Explorers in there, and we'll be off. He's probably got a couple instruments he'll play. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys uh, yeah. so Thanks much. For having us. Thanks for having us. Very informative. Great guitars. Loved it. Very good stuff. Thanks a lot. Next to the yeah. I'm trying. I'm still clapping. Ah, yes. Yeah. Good lord. We have a little hello no, too it's from Rob a Joel. friend of the show, Tim Owens. Tim. Wow. Tim. Hey! <laughs> Mr. Owens. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's here. I know exactly. Hi, well, Tim. I am see, high. Tim is watching. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tim. Hello. Hi, Timmy. Hi, Tim. We miss you. <laughs> he too. wants to come back. Well, Does he? Rain. Yeah. Ran into well, he should come back. Subway. We'll think he, about I mean, Subway. Could, Subway. I know. Really. <laughs> was he? Was he playing? Akron. Has <laughs> no, he was <laughs> no, a restaurant. Akron has a Subway. <laughs> yes. yes. I have not been there. It's a pizza shop I was working at. Uh, oh, stopped in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we'll get uh, was, it, <laughs> was it a small yeah, sausage? Yeah, it was, it was okay. a pizza shop. <laughs> you ordered a small sausage pizza. Okay. Right. Wait. Bada bing, Fair bada enough. boom. Wait. We still have to thank a couple of our sponsors. We, yes. We have not touched on this yet. We're running a little long tonight, but we had so much to yeah. go over. Mm. So and that's okay. Take it away, Joe. A lot Joel. of guitars, man. I told him to bring seven guitars. They brought eight. eight. That I just know. put it over. I know. Yeah. It's like, it, you know, it goes to 11. But mine goes to eight. We didn't even play that one. Noodling. You good. want to noodle? Sure, I know. <laughs> Some Whether for a round of drinks in the evening, live trivia, or the best local bands, visiting Howie's on the Lake is always a great experience. Relax with family or friends over a cocktail or indulge in one of the world-class hamburgers for which Howie's on the Lake is famous. A great place to watch your favorite sports team. They've got you covered on one of their many flat-screen TVs. Not a bad seat in the place. Eric and Claudia and the rest of the team at Howie's look forward to welcoming you. Right. We, we appreciate their support. Yes, thank you, nice Eric and Claudia, mm -hmm. Patrick, and all the rest. What do you call him? Patty Cakes? Patty Cakes, yes, that. Patty Cakes. Patty Cakes. <laughs> <laughs> One more shout out, too. And we, we don't need to. Why not, right? Yeah, some noodling. Yeah, noodle in the background. Go ahead. Yeah, noodle away. Noodle. It's not like Latin. Never mind. Stop it. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dan, for reminding me. 
<laughs> this portion of the show is brought to you by 91.3 FM, The Summit. Yes. We love them. Akron Canton's home for true music diversity. Locally owned and operated, member-supported public radio. The Summit plays a wide variety of music, including rock, pop, folk, acoustic, local, reggae, and much more. And also the 330.net, featuring music from the past, present, and future of Northeast Ohio. Homegrown, hyper-local, and powered by the Summit. Yes. Laura Smiley. Laura Smiley. Thank you very much. Ooh, here's a little story about Laura. Yeah. Can we say this on air? Oh, yeah, we can. (laughs) She's in love with this gentleman, and he called the station, and Laura talked to him. Lucas Nelson. There you go. Called the Summit. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and Laura talked to him on the phone, and she was, oh, my God, this is just amazing. So. Else, and then there's that. Who else called into the summit? Yeah. The folks, oh, uh, we don't want to. Uh, for the folks that don't know who that is, could you? Willie Nelson's son. Yes, Willie Nelson's we son, Lucas. That, but... He has two sons, one, and they both play. They're very, all very accomplished. Yes. Very good. Laura's in love with him. Anyway, and she was just. He's hot. Well, he's a good looking dude. He's, yeah, uh, his music's cool. He's and, and nice she, beard. He's true. Is it beard? <laughs> no, uh, he will. So. I got nothing. <laughs> 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 oh, let's do a quick another CD giveaway. All right. If you're still watching, if you're still watching, we're show. running way over, nice. but that's okay because <laughs> it's nice and quiet. Wait, wait, Wes is noodling. Noodle. It's all good. He's a noodler. Noodler. <laughs> noodler. <laughs> noodle away. The uh, the first person who says who says who. <laughs> who? Like said, wins who? wins a three three zero. Sampler CD. This is volume two. Who wants it? Volume two, and there's a friend of ours been on a show. Who's yep. First? French Donkey's on here. Mark Mothersball, Chrissy Hine. I'll we listen, have not I'll had listen. Mark Mothersball. I will say that, we're, but we we're, we want him on the we're show. We're getting close. Chill we know I people. Have hung out with him. Yes, we but, have. Uh, name we dropping have will get you nowhere. <laughs> it, 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 you don't know that. Miss Diana Lee Johnson. All right. So All right. There you go. We got a winner already. We got a winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. And All right. they can pass it right on to her. Congratulations. All right. You want a CD? Sweet. All right. Now Moving we, along. All right. So, Everybody's done with you guys. Yeah. Uh, next long enough. Need next to talk week. To you, jerky. Next week, um, I can't remember who it is, uh, Joel, but Music I know. Music Box. Music Box, exactly. Yeah. Two young gentlemen, um, uh, veterans. Are going to be on a show uh, and doing some uh, original stuff that they've uh, come up with. Sounds very interesting, and uh, we are still looking for a business guest. So if you want to come on the show, hit us up. You if you have make business, up a, make up a business. <laughs> make up a <laughs> right. We're, we're easy. <laughs> We, we don't check that. Right. No, no, no background I mean, check. The background, background check is <laughs> easy. We're probably going to believe Go on the line and create one. Yes. <laughs> yes. So anyhow, uh, please, you know, tune in next Wednesday. Same time, same bat channel. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff. Right. Thank you. And, and we're, we're out. out. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, ah, thank you. Got my checkbook. These guys will make you better right now, right here. What do you want to buy? Make a deal, make a deal. Yes. Better hurry up before Jeff gets his checkbook out. Right. Yep.